Hello, my name is Randy Rolf, and I'm president of the Institute for Creative Solutions, and I'm sharing foundational concepts about vibrant health through natural living. And today I'm going to talk about healthy fats, and uh, I've had several presentations about fats, but it's really cru crucial that we appreciate the difference between healthy fats and not healthy fats, because there's amazing amount of unhealthy fats in modern processed foods and people forget how important natural healthy fats can be and unfortunately over the last 50 years we have largely replaced in the caloric count healthy fats with carbohydrates which is the main cause of the obesity epidemic as well as the diabetes epidemic and the fact that heart disease is still growing and also children getting diabetes and people getting arthritis and uh, GI problems, gastrointestinal challenges and so on. And this is all because we're eating too many refined carbohydrates just to fill our caloric needs instead of eating healthy fats. So I want to talk about that today. There are many, many, many healthy fats. Um, the unhealthy fats are the ones that come from GMO foods like soy oil and corn oil. Almost all our corn and soy is uh, now genetically modified and that changes the nature of the molecules and the body doesn't do well with them. Even before they started genetically modifying these grains, there was a problem with the trans fats and we had them for 30 years before the studies just started to prove that these were really bad and that's all your hydrogenated fats. And all of our, our uh, safflower and soy and corn oil that people were using for decades were uh, contaminated with these trans fats because they were artificially hydrogenated to keep them from going bad on the shelf, not being refrigerated. All oils need to be refrigerated. And I used to work as a consultant to a couple of health food stores, and I would tell them, you've got to refrigerate not only your oils, but your nuts. They're an amazingly healthy source of fats, but if they've been sit out, sitting out in the air, um, not refrigerated, the fats will go rancid. But anyhow, the artificially treated grain oils um, get trans fat. Uh, so the fats are changed. The hydrogens are not lined up on the carbon spine uh, in any kind of normal configuration. So the body doesn't know what to do with them. And they become toxins in the body and inflammatory and uh, oxidation sources. So you don't want to use any hydrogenated fats. Now, what is margarine, that artificial butter that became so prevalent? That is highly hydrogenated vegetable oil. We never should have adopted it. I did not. I refused to be a, a guinea pig for some kind of newfangled uh, food. And I've always been very happy eating butter from organically raised cows. And um, so I have no arthritis, I'm 70 years old, and I don't have any other problems either uh, because I've always trusted healthy fats as they come from nature. Same with your meats. Um, oh, Adele Davis back in the 50s was explaining that the unhealthy uh, steer that we get our meat from has this hard white fat um, but a healthy steer, it's softer, it's yellow, like um, the deer that you hunt. Wild animals, they have a soft yellow fat that's very healthy. And so if we eat healthy animals, they can keep us healthy. And if we treat them properly, then they're not overstressed and filled with stress hormones and inflammatory uh, molecules of their own. So we need to really consider healthy fats. And organically raised um, birds, the ducks and the uh, chickens, of course, mostly chicken in America. And um, the skin is, is fine. It's got wonderful fat in it if these are healthy animals. So, uh, of course, you get all the natural sources, coconut and uh, the, uh, 
you know, the, the uh, green stuff <laughs> and um, the avocados are so healthy, the wonderful fats. And um, the oils that have been used traditionally, olive oils and uh, seed oils that are easy, easier to extract. And um, those kinds of fats are very healthy. They help your body transform itself into fat burning rather than relying on uh, glucose coming in every two hours from a candy bar or a sweetened coffee drink. And so look for healthy fats, uh, make it a big part of your diet, and you'll be surprised that you'll lose inches and pounds if you let go of that dependence on refined carbohydrates. So that's it for today. Thank you, and we'll see you next week.